look at me when I walk down the street, making me feel like a piece of meat. I get really angry and I shout out loud, why oh why are my feet so loud? You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen and Sona and Runway and Dream Machine and all these AI video things, but remember Emo a few months back, back in February, we showed you this technology that took a still image and an audio file, married them together, and somehow through the magic of artificial intelligence, the image was animated, extrapolating the emotion contained within the audio file itself. And we have been waiting for that kind of technology to become available ever since then. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to introduce you to Hedra or Hedra, which is free. And you can try it by just visiting the site in the link in the description and clicking on the link that says try beta. It couldn't be easier. There are several ways you can do this, but basically the idea is you're going to take a still image. You're going to tell it what to say, whether by typing and choosing a text to speech voice or importing your own audio. And then it can be, of course, whatever kind of voice you want. And then either uploading a still image of a face or having it generated here. So I've got a combination of that here in this collection that I have done over the past 30 minutes or so. And to tell you that it was 30 minutes or so means that these generate pretty quick. I was able to knock out several of these. I haven't tested how long of one I can do, but I've got one in here that's at least around 30 seconds and it worked just fine. I'll show you a quick demo up here of how this works. I can just write, hi, I'm the guy who makes the eggs in your favorite diner. I'm happy that you come in each day. Now I could upload a picture of the guy who works at the diner or I could type right here, man with a paper hat working at a diner. That's it. That's all I'm going to type. There's no models to choose from, whatever. We're going to create a simple image here. You could just say randomize prompt and it'll create a face for you. There's a guy that tells you what to do here. See, telling you what to do. And then the settings are limited. Auto crop image. I've not messed with that. You can use a manual seed if you want to be able to duplicate your results. And you can put in a negative prompt if you want to. I have not found that necessary. Click create. And after just a few seconds, you're going to have an image up here. I mean, literally, I didn't even get to finish my sentence. So there he is, paper hat. I'm going to select a voice for him. I will just choose Todd, their universal crossover. He sounds like this. The greatest gospel concert the world has ever witnessed. Is all right, and then click on generate video. Now, while that's generating, I'm gonna go through and show you the examples that I have done already. And we're gonna go through each of them. They're not very long, but I want you to take notice of what's going on here with the expressions on the characters' faces. Now, this was the first one I did. I had uploaded a still image. The problem with this, I think, was the angle of my face. Because when I uploaded this audio here, which sounds like this. Yes, and then, and I'm, that's, so I would. It goes on like that, and I generated, it turned out like this. Yes, and then, and I'm, that's, so I, that's a, something that happened at work the other day. I was telling this story about, so I'm shopping for coffee mugs online. So I won't make you watch the whole thing. You can see the face was kind of torn up, and I'm like, going, oh, no, is that what this is about? I thought it was going to be better than this. And then I continued on, and I did faces that were more appropriate. I had this one generated right within the program, and I just said, woman with rabbit ears in a bunny-themed cyberpunk world. It generated this image. I typed this phrase, so now I find myself in the middle of nowhere with nothing. So what do I do now? I did capitalize nothing. I'm just trying to throw some emotional cues in there, and I chose the voice of Rachel, and this is what I got. So now I find myself in the middle of nowhere with nothing. So now what do I do? Did you see that animation around her mouth? Let's look again. So now I find myself in the middle of nowhere with nothing. So now what do I do? Subtle lip movements. It's insane. It's just insane. If you enjoy exploring these types of topics, I invite you to subscribe to the channel because we update the channel with videos at least twice a week, sometimes much more than that. And we're always covering topics like this with creative AI and fun ways to use the tech. So subscribe, click the notify bell so you'll know when I release a video. And if you really want to dig deeper into this, consider checking out our AI Essentials membership where you can get even more in-depth, over-the-shoulder looks at what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, and how you can do it too. All right, let's get back to what we were talking about. This one here I generated from within the program again, Abraham Lincoln dressed as a clown. I had him say this. I used the Todd Universal character voice and got this. You know, a long time ago, I said some things that were really important to me. Luckily, most of you heard those words and brought me my slippers. Wow. I mean... That's so next level than anything that we've ever had access to to bring facial animation. I've used programs that move the eyes and the nose and the mouth and subtle 
and it can kind of pick up what I'm doing with my face when I'm doing this stuff, but there just aren't enough points, I guess, on what the technology that's doing it to be able to do this. Here's another image that I generated in here. I was trying Jessica Lawrence working at Burger King. That didn't work. I got this instead, and I just had it say the same text here, but with a different voice. You know, a long time ago, I said some things that were really important to me. Luckily, most of you heard those words and brought me my slippers. Brought me my slippers. I mean, it's incredible what it is getting now. Uh, here's another image that I uploaded, so it didn't get generated from within here. And I typed this text out and used still another voice, and here's what we got. It's not that crazy to think that at one time in my life I was alive. And then there was a kind of sleepy period where uh, I don't remember much. And then there was that huge rockin' party where we all had so much fun. But sadly, it ended up being a dream. Now, I was hoping we'd get a bigger smile when he was talking about all the fun, but you still saw some subtle changes in expression. And that's really, I think, better than exaggerated ones, which would make it look even more fake. So here's another image generated within the program, a cute woman with red hair and a ponytail holding a puppy over her head. Eh, not the greatest prompting there having it say the same thing, but with the Rachel voice. It's not that crazy to think that at one time in my life I was alive. And then there was a kind of sleepy period where, um, I don't remember much. And then there was that huge rockin' party where we all had so much fun. But sadly, it ended up being a dream. So a lot of, I mean, there's some morphing and a little bit, I don't know if you wouldn't call it tearing, but I mean, it says, this is AI. I get that. It's not perfect. And in this case, of course, her hand melted into her neck and cheek. Cool. It must be really hot outside. Uh, so not flawless, but still great. And in this case, I uploaded another piece of audio, a friend of mine telling a story. He was five foot nothing. He was maybe five one and he was about 100 pounds and he was the 98 pound wrestling champ in the state of Wisconsin. So the smallest weight class, he was state champ in wrestling. So what he could do from a physics point of view. So you get the idea. You can see the excitement and the intensity in the conversation as the story moves along. Here's another one. This time I did more of a character voice and uploaded it. Uh, you listen to me, Penelope, or whatever your name is. Is it Penelope? Is it Penelope? That's what it looks like, Penelope. That's what I'm calling you, Penelope. Yeah. Penelope, tell me again what we were talking about. I seem to have... Um forgotten which is unfortunate but i've had such a good day otherwise great stuff with the facial expressions all right here's another one that's generated within this program old woman robot human mouth but everything else is metal and she's in an old dusty workroom steampunk and here we go this was another uploaded audio now listen it's not for you to judge me i'm here to judge you this should have been made very clear by your Mm -hmm. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? I, I'm a little, um, I don't even remember what I said I was going to be a little. <laughs> uh, I am having a day. All right, having a day. Let's have it not as much as this guy, huh? He works at a fast food drive through and he's a zombie. All right, and I uploaded this audio as well. Listen, I've asked you four times. Do you want fries with that? And you keep telling me, yeah, you can't understand what I'm saying. Let me enunciate it. Do you want stinking fries with that? You can see the frustration and all the breath stuff, all the extra sounds. There's movement to it. It's just what you would expect. Now, this one here, to me, is amazing. There's a part, and I want you to watch out for it, where she laughs. And then she says something else after the laugh, but between the time when she laughs and the time that she says the next sentence, you can see her have a thought and consider what she's going to say next. Just watch. What are you looking at, dear? You act like you've never seen an old woman before. Or have you not? I have kept you in a cage most of your life. <laughs> I guess, I guess it's... Watch your eyebrows. But, is it, but wait, you, you've been seeing me this whole time, so it's not like you haven't seen me before. So why are you looking at me that way? Do I know you? You can watch the thought process after the laugh before she says the next thing. There's a small at, little I twitch guess, in her eyebrows. I guess it's... Right here. Boop, but, is it, it. but wait, you, you... If you saw it, you saw it. If you didn't, you didn't. But psychologically, the person viewing this is going to watch it. Now, I'm not expecting this would fool anybody at this point, but holy moly where this is going. 
All right, again, generated from within the program, which you can probably tell because they do have the basic AI person look. But still, now this one I had it generate the audio and I wanted to try a poem. So I wanted to see if it would catch the rhythm and the whole thing. Here's what we got. I went to the store to look for a cat, but when I got there, they all were too fat. I left the store angry, so very upset. I waited all week to come home with a pet. The only problem is she didn't look very upset when she said that, but you know, it still was fun. Now in this one, I misspelled the word for. I wrote F-O-R when I wanted to say the number F-O-U-R. And so he speaks it like I spelled it, as you'll see. There are for thousand people who live in my apartment building. All of them, and I mean all of them, are total weirdos. Now, I know that's not a nice thing to say. And yes, my mother taught me better. But wow, if you knew these people, you'd understand. I mean, the blinking is not mechanical. We've even got fluttering eyelashes when we're talking like I'm doing right now. It's just freaking amazing. Hi, I'm so excited to be able to show you this incredible AI video technology. Hopefully my face shows you how happy I am. But then again, when I think about it, I guess it's extremely sad I didn't know about it yesterday. I could have won a million dollars. Okay, so he wasn't like super happy at the beginning, but man, his eyebrow goes up and he goes, but hey, anyway, and then he gets a little bit more expressive with his emotion at the end. I could have won a million dollars. So you actually feel that frustration. Here's another AI image that I uploaded and sent an audio file along with. Many men died today. I'm not real happy about it. In fact, I think I'm going to go take a nap. And uh, I think, hey, Johnson, hey, hey, you listening to me? I'm going to go take a nap. I want you guys to keep it down. You understand? And, and bring me some of that, um, what do you call it? A latte, whatever, the coffee thing. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> it has been a, a busy and sad day for us all. But man, coffee sounds good. <sighs> Maybe it's me, but I saw a range of emotion go over there. Here's what we started out with. The guy with the paper hat working at a diner, and he says this. Hi, I'm the guy who makes the eggs in your favorite diner. I'm happy that you come in each day. And there you have it. I know that some of the other video technology out there right now is probably more exciting to the general public than something like this. But if you got excited when you saw the emo video being passed around in February, and I really have no idea whether these two things are related or not, but this should get you pretty excited. It's a lot of fun to play with. It costs you nothing except some time because it's extremely addictive. If you enjoy this kind of technology, learning about it, playing with it, and, and exploring it in general, then why not subscribe to the channel? That seems like the best idea because after all, it is what we do here all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I...